First change the material to skin shade 4, in order to use poly paint and ZBrush, while the standard brush is selected turn on RGB and turn off Z add on the top toolbar menu, while holding shift key do the same for the smooth brush. Since the model is asymmetrical at this point, to use symmetry feature properly we need to also enable posable symmetry. We don't need to go too high with the subdivision level, it's better to keep the total points below 1 million. In the color menu, enter the RGB color code that you picked up from your reference, or you can just copy the numbers on the screen. After entering the code, click on fill object. Now that we have the base color, let's add some variations. For example here I'm adding a more saturated color around the cheeks, the eyes and the lips and a little around the ears. I'm also adding a more bluish color around the eyes. and a low saturated red for the lower part of the face. The line that separates lips from skin should always be a bit blurry, otherwise it'll look fake. Keep adding more variations to the color to make the skin look more natural. Here we add a slightly brighter variation around the orbicularis muscles, the nasal bridge and the helix.
see the colors more clearly in the viewport, you can go to the material menu and lower the specular level. By changing the stroke mode to color spray and using alpha number 7, we can add more color variations faster and add interesting details to the skin.
details, we need to blend the colors so that the skin looks a bit smoother. For this step we can add some noise and contrast to the alpha. Also change the material to flat color so the lights and shadows won't distract you. While having the brush on low intensity, I'm picking colors from the surface by hovering over the area and pressing C.
to add more subtle details, we can take advantage of ZBrush's HD Geometry Mode. This mode allows you to work in higher subdivisions while not having to deal with performance costs. To enable this mode, go to Geometry HD menu on the right sidebar and click on Divide HD. At this level, adding two more subdivisions in HD mode will do. Now to work in HD, all you need to do is hover over any area of the model that you want to work on and press A. The area inside the circle is in HD mode.
to switch out of HD mode, you just need to press A once more. Also add blood vessels to some areas of the skin using lightning images as alpha. If you have watched the human eye tutorial, you're already familiar with this technique. Here we have to keep the intensity low and keep it very subtle. Finally to export the map, go to Z plugin menu and in multi map exporter submenu enable texture from poly paint and set the map size to 8k then click on create all maps.
the following episodes, we'll learn how to use this map to create a realistic human shader in Maya and Arnold. Stay tuned.